Dear recruits, consider Arizona State. You are Locked On Sun Devils, your daily podcast on the Arizona State Sun Devils. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome back to the Locked On Sun Devils podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. My name is Richie Bradshaw, and I will be your guide for everything Arizona State Sun Devils. Thanks, as always, for tuning in and making us your first listen of the day. And, of course, a special shout-out to my everydayers who are here every day. Wherever you're getting those podcasts, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get an update whenever we post new content. You can stay in touch with that content by following me on Twitter. You can find me at RichieBrads36 and the podcast as well at LO underscore Sun Devils. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Young kids, old kids, whatever generation you're a part of. I just have one question for you. Have you considered Arizona State? Well, that's what we're here to talk about. And this goes out to pretty much everybody that's looking to come to Arizona State. At least the first part of what I'm going to talk about is. Other than that, I've got three main points for why if you're a football recruit, 2024, 25, 2030, 2050, whatever. I'm here to tell you why you should come to Arizona State University. Why you should become one of our new players, one of the new faces, one of the new contributors, one of the new leaders. We're going to talk about that. First, I want to sell you on the university itself. Because Arizona State has a stigma behind it that... The education's not great, and it's a party school, all that stuff. First of all, it's a little bit of a party school. (laughs) If you're going to come out here, there's a lot of opportunities for you to go and have some fun. You know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that it's not that. Um, it, It definitely has that reputation for a reason. It's a really fun school to go to. If you are a social butterfly, there's a lot of opportunities for you to go out, have fun, meet new people. They're present. There's lots of frats for you to join. There's sororities for you to join. And there's plenty of locations that have reputations for having some extracurricular fun. But with that being said, it's not just about having fun. It's not just the parties that Arizona State provides. There's a lot of great programs here. And there's multiple campuses. You got the main campus in Tempe, you've got downtown Phoenix, you've got West Campus, you've got Polytech, and they all present all sorts of different opportunities for you. First of all, the Walter Cronkite Journalism Program, outstanding. I will tell you that it is one of the most prestigious journalism programs in the entire country, and that's not just me hyping it up. Like This is very common knowledge. We have people from across the country, people that come across different countries as well that come to Arizona State because they know that there's great opportunities here and that the sports journalism program is outstanding. I've met several young individuals who are beyond their years intelligent when it comes to the field. Arizona State does a great job preparing those young kids to be able to go on and have success. Football, basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer, volleyball, whatever. They get you ready for that. They prepare you for broadcasting, for podcasting, for journalism experience itself, whether that's a blog or a newspaper or a website, whatever it might be, the journalism program does a great job preparing you for that. Even beyond the journalism program, they have a great business school. They've got an up-and-coming nursing school. They have plenty of opportunities for teaching. I mean, it started as a teaching college. So I will tell you that it, it's it's pretty great, man. They offer so many different things. And there's no shortage of entertainment and opportunities to meet people. They do all sorts of events. It's great. It's so amazing. So much better than that reputation it gets as a party school. There's so much more than that at Arizona State University. For all the flaws that uh, President Michael Crow has done to the program in terms of the athletics, which hopefully is going to be turned around here, 
He's done a great job, a great job building up all the opportunities that you can have to set yourself up for success beyond your sports careers or even if you're just a student. Now, let's go ahead and get into the football aspect of this because we all know that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about why you should commit to Arizona State University, why you should come here and be a football player or just a player in general. This is a little more geared towards football, but there's tons of great sports programs here. They have pretty much everything too, by the way. Let's get into it. First of all, this is a young and innovative coaching staff. You've got Kenny Dillingham, the front face of the program, early 30s. That's not common. In fact, as of now, he is the youngest head coach in the NCAA. It's it it's it's unheard of for a guy who's he's not even close to being eligible for AARP. He's not even close to being uh, at the infamous over the hill 40, 40 year old birthday thing. Like he's got a lot of years in front of him, and. Not only that, but this is a guy who grew up in the Valley, a guy who graduated from Arizona State, an offensive guru. That alone should kind of sell you on, like, first of all, he cares about this program. Secondly, for him to be a head coach so young, he obviously must know what he's what he's doing. But he's built up a good coaching staff around him. You've got Brian Ward, the defensive coordinator, and I sing his praises on seemingly every podcast, but there's a reason for that. He's smart. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to set his guys up for instant success, but he also knows how to get the most out of these kids. Yeah, you're going to see some time. As long as you put forth the effort that you want to be a good football player, the opportunities are going to be there. We got freshmen that had playing time last year. We had veteran seniors and transfers that had playing time last year. You're going to get an opportunity. Offensively, too, there's all sorts of stuff that they bring to the table. I mean, Kenny Dillingham in himself is the offensive mind behind everything. The positional coaches, though, they're going to take an interest in you, right? You've got the, the, the big two with wide receivers coach Rashad Sample and defensive backs coach Brian Carrington. Great recruiters. Great individuals. I've had conversations with them, super down to earth, but they're not, they're not there to be, you know, buddy buddy with you. They're there to get the most out of you and to turn you into a great player. They have that interest, they have that mindset of we're gonna get these kids set up for future success, whether it's at a pro level or anything else. They're gonna get you set up. You've got Saga Tuttle on the offensive line, you got Jason Mons and t- a tight ends coach. I mean, there's seemingly nothing but a great coaching staff here that's going to be able to set you up for that future success. I love everything that these guys have been able to do. And they provide opportunities and they provide you the chance to be superstars here. We're coming off a three and nine season. It's hard to envision that future. But look at the guys that are coming in and committing to this program. They clearly believe in this vision. And I implore you to also believe in this vision because there's a lot to offer here at Arizona State beyond wins and losses. They're building something up here. And I think that if you're looking to be a part of something special, this is a great university that's going to provide you that opportunity. You want to go somewhere where you know you're going to get developed. And I believe that Arizona State is one of those programs. And I got news for you too. There's a lot of opportunities here as well. And we're going to talk about those opportunities here in just a moment. This is, of course, the Locked On Sun Devils podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Passion, drive, patience. It's what brings home the winning trophy. It's also what keeps your ride or die alive eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance from superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're in the speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for 
And that eBay guaranteed fit means that your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers. Back into the podcast now. Remember, wherever you're getting your shows, hit like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And speaking of tuning in to stuff, if you have not heard yet, Locked On has the first national sports 24-7 streaming channel. It's Locked On Sports on, on YouTube. It, it's so, so cool. It's the first ever of its kind. And they're streaming the top stories of the day, our national shows that cover every league. So if you're into the NFL, if you're into baseball, football, basketball, hockey, the draft, fantasy, it's there for you. It's Locked On Sports Today on YouTube. Subscribe to the first ever National Sports 24-7 streaming channel. Let's go ahead and get back into our conversation now and take a look at the second pitch that I have here for you to commit to Arizona State. And it's those opportunities that I mentioned. The aforementioned opportunities here for you to come and be set up for future success. Look, this is a program that is on the rise. They're coming off a three and nine season, but if you watched the 12 games they played this year, these guys are clearly bought into the vision and they have such an interest in building it up. The veterans looked like they were all about it, whether they transferred or they were there for five years. You had the freshmen that came in and wanted to buy into the culture. Uh, Caleb Black was a good example. Uh, CJ fight was another good example. You had so many different guys that presented opportunities for themselves because they weren't afraid to work hard. It's part of what, what builds up a program, but that also comes from the fact that they had opportunities. They had opportunities presented to them to be able to succeed. This isn't a program where you're going to come in and you're going to have to sit for the entirety of your of your stay there. You know, there's some guys that go to big programs like Alabama, like Georgia, like Ohio State. And you see them transfer in two, three years into their into their stints there. One year into their stint. They transfer out. Why do they transfer out? They don't have those opportunities. You know, these these big name programs, they do a great job recruiting almost to a fault. Because then you have these young kids who maybe they're only three stars. Maybe they're only two stars, but they got that opportunity at a big blue blood program. And they're just not going to see the field. And if you're a kid, you don't want to sit for your entire college career. You don't want to play four years, five years at the program and have less than a hundred snaps in that career. Maybe you do because you care more about your academics and props to you. But I know there's a lot of kids out there that want to play. Arizona State's going to give you that opportunity. It's not It's not going to change. It's not going to matter when Arizona's a 10-win program or when they're a 10-loss program. Because if you work hard, you're going to get those opportunities. Again, I just mentioned two freshmen that got a pretty decent amount of playing time last year with CJ Fight on the defensive line and Caleb Black at wide receiver. They they worked to get those reps. I mean, CJ Fight was basically a full-time starter after the first like two or three weeks of the year. He really didn't get off the field. You want to know why? Because he worked his butt off. He wasn't afraid to go out there and try and be the best that he possibly could. Impressive kid, wise beyond his years, but clearly somebody who's driven. And if you're a driven player, Kenny Dillingham and the rest of the staff are going to notice and they're going to present those opportunities to you. Get a black look. We had no shortage of receiver talent this past year. You had Elijah Badger, Xavier Guillory, Troy O'Mary, Melcon Stovall, Giovanni Sanders. There was a lot of guys. But yet Caleb Black, who's like seventh or eighth on the depth chart, ends up getting those opportunities. 
And, you know, it's not like he had 10, 20 catches, but he got touches and he got snaps because he worked his butt off. That's a part of the game. Of course, I haven't even mentioned the most obvious example. And that was Jaden Rashada comes in and becomes the day one starter for this team. You don't see that very often. You don't see true freshman quarterbacks that come out and start from day one. You more often than not, I mean, unless you're an otherworldly kind of player, more often than not, you are looking at a red shirt or you're looking at a part-time role. Jaden Rashada was dealing with injuries, but he played three games and he started and finished those three games. Arizona State wasn't afraid to go through the highs and the lows with Jaden Rashada because there were some really good plays he made and there were some really head-scratching plays that he made. But the bottom line is Arizona State wasn't afraid to ride it out with Jaden. They saw potential with him. There's a reason they were so, so not obsessed, but persistent. There you go. Persistent with trying to recruit Rashada. He was their prized possession in last year's class. He was the player that they knew they needed to have to be able to start establishing this culture. And Rashad is bought in, you know, he's, he's not transferring out. Like there was speculation about he's here to stay. He's here to continue to build up the image of this program. That's what you want to see. And again, he comes here, Trenton Bourget, who started five or six games in 2022, had a right to start drew pine who helped turn around Notre Dame in 2022, had a right to start. But Jaden Rashada comes out and he outworks them. And he ends up getting that starting spot as long as he was healthy. That's what you're looking at. It doesn't matter whether you've got 10-year veterans on this team. If you work hard enough and put the passion, the time, and the effort into wanting to be a good football player, who becomes part of the identity of this football program, right? You can do it. There is no reason for you to not be able to come out here. There is no reason that you should look at this program and say, I don't know if I'm going to get on the field. You don't need to be a five-star. You don't need to be the number one prospect. You don't need to be a top 20 prospect in the nation to be able to come to Arizona State and start day one. You can be a walk-on and come here. They are just interested in getting the guys out there that want to be out there, that want to work, that want to put the time and effort to come to this program. And quite frankly, I feel like a lot of programs are just so interested in stashing talent on their team. You see programs that are only recruiting four stars that are putting such a high emphasis on those five stars that they're not looking at the three stars. They're not looking at the guys who aren't ranked. They're not looking at these kids who are more driven than the five star players that are more driven than the four star players. If you show that you want to be out here, you're going to get that chance, man. And Kenny Dillingham and his staff. Sure. Of course they're taking visits with five star players. You would be, You'd be stupid not to, but they're also going to a lot of three-star players. You look at this upcoming class, there's two four-stars right now, Jaden Fortier and Jason Brown. Beyond them, it's three-star, 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 three-star. People would look at that and they're like, that's a terrible class. I mean, Arizona State is like barely in the top 50 across the nation, and that's because of a really good transfer class. People are going to look at your recruiting class and see nothing but three stars and go, "Mm, that's not a good program. Well, that's not true because it's not about getting the talent. It's about getting the kids who want to come here and play the kids who want to come here and change the culture. I promise you, if you want to be that guy, you can be that guy. And I'll tell you what, there's a chance for you to be even more than that. We'll talk about in just a moment. This is Locked On Sun Levels Podcast, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day. 
One more time, thank you as always for tuning in. Remember, wherever you're getting your podcast, to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And also check out the Locked On Sports Today 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. Check this out. All our national shows, all the top news of the day, 24-7, football, basketball, baseball, hockey. It's all covered there. So check it out and subscribe to the first ever 24-7 sports streaming channel. It's so cool, guys. Come on. How can that not be of peak interest to you if you're a big-time sports fan? All right. Final pitch here for you to come to Arizona State. You want to be the face of a program? You can be it. Do you want to come out here and show the world exactly what you're all about? You can do that. You want to come to Arizona State and you want to be the face of the program. Guess what? You can do that. Jaden Rashada comes in as a true freshman. And guess what? He is one of the five Sun Devils that you think of first. When I say Arizona State football, here's the names you probably think of. Elijah Badger, you probably think of, oh man, Cameron Scadaboo, Trenton Bourget, and then you would probably go to, because Jordan Clark's gone, I don't know if there's anyone definitively on defense right now. I mean, I know that I would go to a handful of guys, but for the for the common fan, I mean, Rashad is right there. Rashad is one of the first guys that you think of when I say Arizona State football. When I say the Sun Devils football program, you go Jaden Rashad. And guess what? He did that as a freshman. You want to know why? Because he wanted that opportunity to be the face of the program. You've got Relique Brown transferring in. Former super high four-star, consensus five-star, depending on where you look, right? He comes to this program. Why on earth would a former superstar kind of recruit who had offers from USC, who had offers from five-star blue blood programs, you know, the biggest national contenders in the country were interested in Relief Brown. And guess what? He came to Arizona State. You want to know why? He said it himself. I want to be the one that changes this program. I want to be the face of the program. I want to be the one that people look at and they say, he helped turn us around. That's what you can be too. The opportunity's there, man. It it doesn't take a genius to see there is an opportunity here for you to become a legend at Arizona State. We've seen over the last 10 years, guys that have left their mark on Arizona State forever. Taylor Kelly, Mike Bercovici, Brandon McGee, Will Sutton, Jalen Strong, Nikhil Harry, Kalen Balaj. We're going to talk about those guys years down the road. And guess what? Not all of them were these superstar players right? Some were transfers from JUCO. Some were just flat out transfers from other programs because they didn't get those opportunities. Sure. Some of them were big name guys. Some were four stars. ASU's had two five stars that you can think of. I mean, there's been highly recruited players, but there's also been guys that nobody would have given a chance if you were an Alabama, if you were a USC, if you were a Clemson. They're so interested in collecting the five-star players. And then you have Arizona State that says, do you want to play? Do you want to be here? Do you want to be a difference maker? If your answer is yes, then consider Arizona State. I'm a Sun Devil, baby. That's what you want, right? At the end of the day, you don't want to go to a blue blood program and not even get a chance, right? But you go to Arizona State, they don't care what ranking you are. They don't care where you're from. They don't care about any circumstance. They want you to be driven. They want you to be bought in. 
and they want you to come be that difference maker, to come be that face of the program. It's a wide open opportunity. You think of Jaden Rashada, you think of Relic Brown, you think of Trenton Bourget, the other guys I named. Why, why shouldn't I think of you, John Johnson? Why shouldn't I think of you, um, Michael Smith? Why shouldn't I think about you, DeAndre Tompkins? You know, I'm just throwing random names out there. If there's actual recruits with those names, then sure, that's pretty cool. But why not you? Why not you? Come to Arizona State because we have those opportunities for you. That's my pitch. That's my pitch for this program. It's a young staff. It's an innovative staff. It's a staff that is so intent on providing opportunities for you. As long as you want those opportunities, you're going to get them. You got to work for it, though. They don't care what ranking you are. I've said that a million times. If you're a five-star kid and you come here and guess what? The walk-on outperforms you. That walk-on is going to get those opportunities. So you got to be willing to work. Because if you are willing to work, you are willing to put in the time, the effort, the dedication. The sky's the limit for you. You can be that guy. But it's up to you. If you want to be that guy. That's my pitch for Arizona State. And I know that there's countless, countless other opportunities that this amazing university can provide for you. And I would love to know what you would pitch if you were trying to convince your child to go to Arizona State. What would you tell them? If you were trying to convince your best friend to go to Arizona State, if you were trying to activate the Valley, what's your pitch? I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. You can hit me up on Twitter. Find me at RichieBrads36, the podcast as well, at LO underscore Sun Devils. Wherever you get your podcast, hit like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you get an update whenever we post new content. And again, a special shout out to my everydayers who are here every day. You guys, I love you all so much. We're finishing out the year very, very soon. If you're interested in recruiting content, I'm going to keep you covered. I will update you when I find information. We'll have podcasts that discuss all this fun stuff. So again, make sure that you're tuned in. Also, we're really close to 700 subscribers on YouTube. And if you guys could help me get there before uh, before the new year, I would be so, so beyond appreciative. But no matter what, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, you keep it locked right here on Locked on Sun Devils.